Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you some crazy night photography at over 10,000 ISO with the new Sony A7S. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is what? My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful, the incredible city of Paris, France. Right now, still traveling in the USA. I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw file of this episode so you can see for yourself the power of the Sony A7S and get all the past raw files, free actions, free presets, so many stuff that's free, it's unbelievable. Click here. Or click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In last episode, I talked to you about my interior challenge and show you the winner and give you also some critiques and tips and tricks on shooting interior design. Check it out. This week, I got a hold of the Sony A7S and I went shooting on an amazing Los Angeles sunset when it was really dark without a tripod to see how much I could boost the ISO. This is some of the final results and it's pretty amazing because that camera can go to over 400,000 ISO and it can be useful when you, you know, you're lazy like me and you don't always want to have a tripod on you. So let me show you the Sony A7S. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Just before we get started, I just want to inform you of an easy way you can uh, help me produce free tutorials for you. Is uh, whenever you want to buy something on Amazon, you just go to uh, my uh, uh, my gear, and you click on any of these Amazon links which are here. And this, there's all you know for all my gears. And you know, even if you do your own groceries, I will get a commission on it, and it helps produce all the free stuff that I do. So if you can help me on that, that'd be so nice. Okay, now I want to talk to you about the Sony A7S. I've heard about it for months, which is the camera that can see in the uh, in the night, and I wanted to use it from a, a perspective of um, you know a landscape shooter that I am. So if you go to my gear, uh, there is a section called the Sony Route, which is here, and here is a kit which I think is amazing on Amazon. Um, it's the Sony A7S with uh, the lens I'm using the most, which is the 2470 f4, which is really a sharp lens. Uh, I mean, it's not a cheap camera because the whole kit costs $3,700. So it's really for professionals or, you know, rich, uh, passionate people, let's put it this way. But anyway, if you get a hold of this camera, I just want to show you a few tests I did with it, uh, with my type of photography. So let's jump over to Lightroom. And the, the idea is I went up to the Griffith Park in Los Angeles, which you have an amazing view of, uh, you know, Hollywood and downtown Los Angeles. And on, on a night where there was an amazing sunset. And um, I was, so the challenge was to shoot uh, without any, um, without any tripod. So my first test was to shoot this photo uh, this is a pano. It's a two photo pano. Uh, you can see downtown LA. It's very blue because my white balance was kind of off. Um, I shot this. So the whole idea is to shoot without a tripod. So I shot this at 100th of a second at F9 because I wanted to be able F9 to have a, you know, a big depth of field between the tree and downtown LA. And, but ISO 1000, I never shoot at ISO 1000. So if I open up the shadows, bring down the highlights, and do white and blacks. If I'm going a little fast, you can see I have many tutorials on my workflow. So that's just my basic, you know, contrast. Then if I'm just going to go over to shade and maybe add a bit of magenta, uh, something like this, that's the kind of retouching I would go for. Now let's look at the noise. Let's look at the noise. So let's jump in. Now we are at 1000 ISO. And the noise that I have is about the noise that I have when I'm like 200 or 300 on the Sony A7R. There's hardly any noise. So if I go to the noise reduction, I would just probably just put like, you know, 10 of noise reduction, uh, do like, you know, 80 of sharpening, mask the noise, the sharpening out and check that out. I've got a very clean photo, uh, a very, very clean photo at 1000 ISO. That's amazing. I was shooting at F9 at the beginning of that amazing sunset. That's the final result photo when I merged the, the two panels and finished the retouching. And, uh, you know, 1000 ISO photo, pretty crazy. So, you know, I kept on walking and that's another uh, photo that I took. Uh, let me reset it uh, completely because that's not how it looks, that's retouched. 
uh, that's how it looks on retouch. Now I'm at 2,500 ISO. Now it's starting to be quite something. So to tell you, so I'm gonna, you know, I never shoot anything at 2,500, you know, except videos. I never do any photos at that. So I'm gonna, you know, shadows, highlights. I'm gonna do my white. I'm gonna do a little bit of black. Okay, and I'm gonna go to shade and add a bit of magenta. You know, just a simple formula retouching. Okay, now let's zoom in and look at the noise. Now you have to understand these photos are also only 12 million pixel photos. Those are not very, very, you know, big files, but you will see at the end of this tutorial, I'm gonna to try to do a fine art print with one of these photos, see if it can hold uh, printing. Okay, so, well, there is a bit more noise, so I would go on, on, on noise reduction and I would go probably around 20. Yeah, and I would then put my sharper in around on this time I'm gonna put it around 60 because it's gonna bring a noise a lot of noise back and then I'm gonna do the masking until I don't see any noise on the on the sky. Okay, and then you can play around with details here uh, to make more details or less detail. But it's pretty clean. I mean it's a bit noisy, but it's a pretty clean photo for 2500 ISO. I mean shooting at F9 at this time of the day, I never did that. Okay, now let's go completely crazy. Let's go to this photo. Let me show you, let me reset it. Okay, that's how, that's the raw file on retouch. I'm actually gonna give you that raw file so you can see for yourself. Now I'm shooting now at 180. It's really the, the night, I mean, it's the end of the sunset. Um, and I'm at 1250 ISO. And uh, you know it's it's a dis decent photo. I I now I love the sunset so much that I instead of going to f9, I went to f5 6, and instead of being at 100 second, I went to 180, so that I could you know not be too high in the ISO because I, I wanted to make a fine art print with this photo. So highlight shadows, whites and blacks, and um, yeah, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna crop that photo also because uh, I don't want to have so much of this of the cars here. I think this is more in an interesting uh, thing here, interesting panel. So that's that's my first retouching. Now 1200 uh, ISO, uh, still very cool. You know, I would go to uh, sharpening. I would uh, do my sharpening around 70, my nose reduction around 10 or 12, and my masking around 50 as usual. And uh, it's a pretty clean photo, it's, it's usable. And so usually when I do prints, I print around 105 centimeter large. That's the size I like to do. So I'm gonna right click edit and I'm gonna go into Photoshop and I'm gonna boost the resolution to 105 centimeter, which I believe would, is around 25 inches long, uh, something like this. So I'm just gonna go up to image, image size, Right now it's 40, in 240 DPI is fine for printing. So I'm gonna to go to 105, which is one of the signs I do a lot. I'm gonna click on okay. And we're gonna inspect it and see. Uh, now you have to understand that when you print fine art, it softens a lot. I mean, it's, it is a bit noisy here, but I know that when I'm gonna print it, it's gonna soft it. And I, I think it can hold a big print. Maybe not that much, but man, it is really uh, a file that I could use and at least on canvas, it would completely work. It would make a nice canvas, you know? So it's it's pretty handy if you, you know, you're out there, you know, I cannot always have my tripod on me, but I can always have an ASN, Sony A7S on me because it's very light. And uh, so it's uh, like, you know, whatever is happening, you can still try to get a good photo. Now I went crazy a little bit and I went to uh, 40,000 ISO and it started to be completely unusable. I mean, 40,000 ISO is way, I mean, not, I'm gonna to try to retouch this photo, but it's way too much. You see, now it's just like, just noise, 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 you know. Uh, noise, noise, noise. And, you know, let's go to shade, add a bit of magenta. And uh, now on noise reduction here, I mean, it's really noisy and it's not usable at 40,000. Of course, I could, you know, probably do noise reduction around 30, but I don't like to go too much. I don't like to go to 70 because then it's like all blurred out. It's so, you know, probably 40 is my max, you know, add a bit of sharpening, very little, like 50, and then do the masking around 50, something like that. But, you know, it could hold a small print, I believe, 
but you know, or a screen for screen, you know, but not, uh, you know, not, nothing, uh, nothing really big. 2500 ISO, you can really shoot, you know, by hand without a tripod and, and get great prints. Uh, so I think it's and it's a great camera, especially for video, because you know video you can go up to five, ten thousand ISO and and get really nice videos. And you've seen many of the videos on the web. Oh, one last example. Uh, I shot this at the Americana in Glendale at twelve hundred and twelve thousand eight hundred ISO, and it's it's pretty decent. Forty thousand was not usable, but twelve thousand eight hundred is pretty decent. You know I can open up the shadows, bring down the highlights. Uh, on this one and do the whites and the blacks. Okay, until we've got a very kind of cool photo. And then let me jump in and let, let me show you the noise. You know, uh, if I go to noise this noise reduction, like around 20 and sharper in around 60, it's a decent photo, of course, masking around 50. Yeah, it's a great photo. It's It's totally usable for me. And that's 1200, 12,800 ISO. It's, this is crazy. I've never shot at that. So anyways, I don't have any commissions from Sony uh, on saying this, you know, but it's, it really is an amazing camera. I think it's, it's, it's a game changer for people who want to do, uh, for wedding photographers who wants to shoot in a church. Oh my God, uh, you know, and still, you know, in low light situation, you know, for parties, you know, and you want to get some good shots of, of people, that's the camera to go for. Anyways, uh, I was very, 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 um, you know, excited about this. I'm going to give you for free this raw file. Uh, you know, that's a 1250 ISO raw file of Hollywood. And if you want to, you know, use it as a screensaver or whatever, feel free, you know, retouch it the way you want. So you can see the quality of the raw files at, tw uh, you know, at 1250 ISO. Uh, well, I actually might even also give you this raw file at 12,000 ISO, so you can see both for yourself. Okay, thank you so much. And um, I hope you had a great Christmas and I wish you a great 2015 year. Back to me. All right, guys, I hope you like this episode. If you have any ideas or suggestions of tutorials you want me to do, please leave a comment on this YouTube video. And if you've got time, please share it to the world. Facebook, you know, Google+, YouTube, you know, it helps me grow. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you in another episode. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.